Today we're going to talk about tessellations. You might remember tessellations from last year or another class. Um, basically tessellations is a pattern and here is a really interesting tessellation. Shows a repeating pattern across the paper. But let's look at the definition of tessellations. A tessellation or tiling is when we cover a surface with a pattern of flat shapes so that there are no overlaps or gaps. So if we look at the tessellations I have here as the example, this first one is a triangular tessellation and you can see the entire paper is covered with a tessellation pattern. It's repeated and they're all touching and there's no gaps. Here's one created with octagons and squares. So if I had my piece of paper, here I have an octagon and a square, an octagon and a square, octagon and a, there would probably be another square. Then they also filled in the empty gaps with more squares with a, another shape called a hexagon and then more octagons. Here's a different um, tessellation shown with repeated pattern of pentagons. They just created pentagons over and over and over and created a different color. There are different types of tessellations. So the first kind is a regular tessellation. And a regular tessellation is the pattern made by a repeating regular polygon pattern. And if you remember, a regular polygon pattern is one, or <clears throat> a regular polygon, all the sides and angles must be the same. So if we look at this star, each angle would be the same. If we look at this hexagon, each angle is the same. And this would be um, kind of a double pentagon if we drew a line right there. They're all straight. They are all the same angles and, the, and they're all the same relative size. Where a corner meets the shape is called a vertex. So right here would be a vertex. Um, right here would be a vertex. Right here is a vertex. Any place that a corner meets the regular polygon is a vertex. For a regular tessellation, the pattern has identical vertices. So if you look, it's a repeated pattern and the vertices are always at the same location of the shape. There's also other tessellations called demi-regular, and some people allow the curved shapes, not just polygons. So you can have a bunch of different tessellations like these. This one is made with a, a bird head and some other sort of shapes. This one has some regular polygons, but they also have curved shapes. This one is made with a bunch of cats, a repeated shape, <clears throat> and sunglasses. And then this tessellation too has a repeated pattern of circles and then squares. So there you have it, tessellations. You'll most likely be creating your own tessellations in a math lesson coming up. So hope this um, little intro about tessellations helps you.